Hi everybody and welcome to Steve's Kitchen. It's a quick kitchen tip today. I'm just gonna show you how to make a very simple homemade icing bag. So rather than show that in every video, here's a quick and easy way to make them at home. So I'm just taking a piece of grease paper or baking paper. Uh, people around the world call it different things. This is baking paper, but wax paper will do. I'm just folding it over to get a perfect triangle and I'll use a palette knife then just to slice through and cut myself out a triangle. Now. Once you've done that, you've got a second one here all ready to go, so you might as well cut two out while you're at it. And uh, the same method, fold it over, crease and cut through with a palette knife. Then take the first piece and have the long side of the triangle towards you and fold over the corner on the right or left and you get an ice cream cone shape. And we'll take that second corner, sorry that's gone out of shot a little bit, just roll that round until we end up with a perfect ice cream coat with a nice tight point at the end. Okay now if we let go of that that would just unroll so we just take those top corners, the little ears that are sticking up and fold that over two or three times just to secure the icing bag from unrolling. So there you go another fold, that's three folds. Now you could if you wanted take a little bit of scotch tape, a little bit of sellotape and just tape over that to stop it from uh, unravelling. If you're making several of these it's possibly worth doing and that'll just hold it in place, you can pop that in and be fairly safe that won't undo. So I'll just make up the next one, we'll just put that on fast forward so you can see it. Isn't that elegant? <laughs> so beautiful. And I'll fold it over again but this time I'll show you a different method, we'll just tear two little slits in the top where the folds are. See that? And I'll just fold it back on itself so that it's like a little lock. I'll just turn that around so you can see it clearly. So it's a little lock stops the bag from unwrapping. And now you can snip off, as I've done here, if you've got a, a purpose-made piping nozzle, snip off about half an inch and pop the piping nozzle in. Or if you haven't got nozzles, just take a tiny little tip off and you're ready to go. So thanks for watching guys, please comment down below, rate and subscribe. I just put some links here to a couple of other recipes, there's the grilled halloumi cheese which was absolutely delicious and some bread pretzels which also were gorgeous. Now if you want to try those click on the, the videos above or uh, there's a subscribe button there as well, I'd love it if you subscribe and stay in touch. Be good and I'll see you in the next video.